You know, when it comes to these mini shotgun microphones, I originally didn't think much of them. To start off, they're small, so where's the high-tech innards that'll give me that good sound? Second, it doesn't use a battery, and don't I need a battery to get a nice, strong, clean signal to power those innards? And then I got a hold of the Seven Rims Minbo M1 Mini Cardio Digital and Analog Dual Mode Shotgun Mic. You know what's funny? The name of the mic on this script is actually longer than the microphone itself. Anyway, as you can tell so far, this mic sounds impressively good. Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech. I am Low, and today we are taking a look at the Seven Rims Minbo M1 Mini Cardioid Digital and Analog Dual Mode Shotgun Mic, which has to be the longest name for a microphone. But for the purpose of this review, we're just gonna refer to it as the Minbo M1. Now, the Minbo M1 was sent to me for review purposes, so links down below to get more info on the Minbo M1 and to pick one up for yourself as well. As always, check the chapters down below to jump straight to our tests. Now, let's see what's inside the box. You get a soft carrying case, which holds the Mimbo M1, a professional shock mount, a dead cat windscreen for your mic, a small USB-C cable for connecting to your USB-C compatible devices, a 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRRS for use with smartphones or laptops, and a 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS for a camera or a recorder. Just remember, if you're going to use this with an iPhone, you are going to need a 3.5 millimeter to lightning adapter. Taking a closer look at the Mimbo M1, the microphone features a cardioid pickup pattern for accurate sound pickup, a digital analog output mode switch, a stepless gain control to adjust the hotness of the mic, real-time monitoring while in digital mode, more on that later, and your shock mount that you mount easily, like so. The mic is made out of a metal design with some splash bubble accents for texture, and the design of the mic is attractive as well. Overall, you have a color scheme of black and yellow, which sort of reminds me of Johnny Lawrence. All right, so now that we got all the spec stuff out of the way, let's see how this microphone performs in the various ways you can use it. And since getting this microphone, I have been using it exclusively with my laptop. And let me tell you, what a big difference. You can easily use this mic as your do everything mic, especially if you're on a budget and you don't want to have three different microphones. You just want quality and consistency. Up until this point of the video, we've been using the Mimbo M1 with my Zoom H1 to record the audio. And for my previous tests, and as you can hear, it sounds really great, especially when a comfortable proximity to me. So let's switch to the laptop, like I said before. When I connect the Minbo M1 to my laptop, I connect it using the USB-C cable and switching it from analog to digital. This essentially turns your Minbo M1 into a sound card as well, so you can monitor yourself with headphones, as well as listening to an audio source playing from your computer. Now, my only gripe with this setup out of the box is that the included USB cable is extremely small, so you may want to consider using a longer USB-C cord lying around the house to set up the way that you like. My ideal setup would be to find a way to mount this on top of my laptop. That would be amazing. Clearer audio from here on out for Zoom calls, gaming, even content creation. And I'm speaking to my tutorial making Udemy peeps right here. And this is what it sounds like using a built-in microphone from my laptop. Yeah, big difference. And of course, you don't have to use a USB-C on your computer. You can always use the mic jack to record audio when switching it back to analog mode. And this is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like using a Minbo M1 connected to your smartphone. And remember, you have to use a TRS to the TRRS connection. And you ha if you're using it on an iPhone, you have to use a 3.5 millimeter to Apple, no, to a lightning connector um, for your smartphone device. Android, Android, they don't have to worry about that stuff. But yeah, this is what it sounds like when connecting it to your iPhone or your smartphone. I, I wish I had a vlogging setup so I can properly connect this to the phone so you could check it out, but I don't. But at least you got a good sense of what it sounds like on your smartphone. All right, so let's test this microphone on a mirrorless camera and I'm using an EOS R. And just keep in mind that different cameras will have different preamps. So your performance may vary depending on the camera's preamps. But yeah, this is uh, the Minbo M1 on this camera. Um, for my previous test, it sounds fantastic, especially since it's just arm, arm's length, so I'm not too far away from the microphone. Uh, but to kind of give you a sense of the environment, uh, it is pretty windy. Uh, there's a good amount of wind happening right now, so we'll see how the microphone and the, and the dead cat is rejecting the wind. Uh, and at the same time, I'm, I'm near a highway as well, so there's cars happening in the background. Uh, now, I'll, I'll disconnect the microphone and give you a sense of what it sounds like without the microphone. And this is what it sounds like without the microphone, and I'm pretty sure it's a big difference. And very, very, very different. So let me connect it back. 
And that's what it sounds like using the Minbo on your mirrorless camera. Sounds pretty good. All right, back inside. So far, the Minbo M1 has exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways. Sound design, ease of use, and not worrying about batteries, which was a big deal for me in the past. But you might now notice that I sound noticeably different. Well, for as amazingly brilliant I think the Minbo M1 sounds, the sound drop-off is very noticeable. Anything past three feet from the mic and you, and you're losing a lot of presence and fullness from the mic. Now, this is nothing new for shotgun mics, especially when it comes to mini shotgun mics. But if you were thinking, oh, I'm just gonna put this on my camera and be good for every scenario, well, you might hit some blocks. And as you can hear, with the mic still connected to the camera, and I'm about three feet away from it. So let's switch back to something closer. So that's my review of the Minbo M1, a small, compact, lightweight, great sounding mini shotgun mic with a variety of ways to use it. If you're a beginner or intermediate, this could easily be your all-in-one mic, hands down. If you like this video, well then leave a like. Want more honors reviews about the products you love? Well then subscribe. And until next time guys, learn, do, and share. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, I, 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 I don't know what's going on here. I mean, you look crazy, but you sound really good.